Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Uh, today, for Mermaid Day 16, we are going to be doing the bluegill. A burp, derp, burp, I'm a bluegill. And uh, yeah, there's lots of purples and blues, teals, and some yellow, and other stuff. So um, I'm feeling profile today, flowing hair, you know, really getting crazy. Uh, yeah, I. Oh, I should say what I'm using. I'm using my Jane Davenport Aqua Pastels. Okay, Bluegill, you just need to go up there. You're like all up in my finger space. So we have the Aqua Pastels, which come in this handy dandy little tin swatch card with this paper. And uh, yeah, they're basically just water soluble crayons, I guess. And um, they last forever. And so yeah, I'm gonna sketch something out. I think I was gonna layer the colors, but I think I'm just gonna lay them all down and then add water and try and go from there. Will it work? I don't know. Let me find out for you. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I first coffee, cause I need the caffeine. Ah, oh, delicious. All right, question, should I draw it out first? No, okay. Let's just get into it. So we've got blues. I wonder if I should do like a normal looking face, but add lots of like purple eye makeup and blue hair with yellow tips. That could be pretty. All right, we've, we've got something happening. Let's bring in, I wanna say Carmine, but no, Cezanne. These are named after artists. I love it when um, an art creator takes the time to come up with names. It just makes it a little more fun. Is it necessary? No. Is it more exciting? Yes. We appreciate that. Ooh, maybe, I'll, okay, I'm gonna bring back in the skin, because I gotta, you know, give some fleshy tone. And the light's gonna come from here. So it'll cast a hard shadow there. And then I'll really highlight her cheek, like her cheekbone here. And then it'll kind of darken up all this, because it's under her cheek, under her nose. And yeah, I'm just making it up. I'm sure those super professional artists out there are like, what the hell is he doing? Well, I don't know. I do what I want. And a lot of times it turns out. The reason I'm not filling this, like all this white space with this is because these colors bleed out quite a bit. Like when you, well they don't bleed out, but like when you add water to them, like you can push the color a lot further. And then I was gonna use Ingress, I think that's how you say the name, for a shadow color. A little shadow under the cheekbone, temple area and the hair, under the eyebrow thingy, the brow bone. I can never say brow bone, I always say eyebrow. Same difference, I suppose. All right, we got that laid in. I might add just a touch of purple because on that fishy, you know, inspiration, there is like a purple hue to the face. And yes, Ingress is a purpley, like this color right here is quite purpley, but I'm gonna add a little bit of Michelangelo to the darker areas. And now the hair is mostly gonna be this color. That is such a pretty color. Botticelli, wonderful artist. And I wanna know, I wanna know what I'm doing. What am I thinking? Uh, I think I'm gonna do, hmm, darker blue on the top and have it go to a lighter blue. Cause I mean the fish has light blue and then dark blue and light blue, but it's not all like it's fins and stuff. I don't know. It's a thing, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna do it. We're gonna see what happens. And I'll kinda do a light shadow with this one because I'm gonna bring in this color over it to help the transition. I'm debating if I should fill this in now as I just start filling it in. Also when working with um, art mediums such as these and like just really any watercolor pencil, 
just know you're gonna have texture from the actual pencil. Like, you know, don't pretend like it's not gonna be there. Don't be surprised and all upset. Like, it's, it's just part of the medium. And personally, I think it adds a little charm, a little rusticness. But hey, if you don't like that texture, you can just do this with watercolors. Or you can be very particular and just like really fade it out and really control it and then it'll be much less noticeable. I'm just trying to create some movement in the hair while mostly just adding a lot of color. And then on that, there's a bit of yellow on the bottom of the fish. So I'm gonna bring in a bit of yellow, maybe even some green. I mean, it's gonna make green anyway, but it kinda helps smooth the transition maybe. Just add a touch of green down here. Let's add a little pinky pink to the cheeks. Maybe a little around the eye. A little on the chin, why not? And then I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna do another layer. This is the, the base layer, uh, but I will go back in with another layer and do some detail work. So let's get this brush. Ooh, let's, let's get the capping. Let's get it going. Gotta be brave. So I'm gonna turn it upside down, or I'm gonna do it this way first, just to get a nice crisp line where her hair is meeting her face. And this can be pretty liquidy. All right, we're getting somewhere, we're getting places. I'm gonna dry this up so I can, so like the face won't bleed into the rest of the hair. Be right back. All right, let's see how well I can do this without bleeding into her face a bunch. Just gonna start with this peachy outline and kinda kind of fade it, but also just drag the color in as I go right into the red. <laughs> and shade under her brow a little bit. Man, I love art. Sorry, my husband was yelling at me. Um, well, yelling for me. He has a meeting right now. And I was probably gonna go say hi to everybody, but y'all, I'm busy creating art. Hope you guys are creating art too. All right, let's give this a quick dry. And then we'll start working on another layer. Okay, let's see if I can just add a little bit more depth and roundness to like the nose, the lips, the eye area, and then I'll dry it again, and then we'll go over, like I might just use the pencils and do some detailing. I'm trying to do it with a pretty dry brush. I don't wanna pick up too much of the color underneath. Also, I just applied this to a wet spot, so it went a little different than I wanted it to, but that is also another way you can work with these. I'm gonna add some skin, like more of the skin color, because it went quite purple. Just in there, let's see if I can work it. And now we'll add, 
let's see. Maybe I'll add some of this Gao Queen. I'm not sure how to say it. I'm not very versed in the world of artists, but it's that name right there. That. It's like a nice rich reddish brown. Just wanted to add a tiny bit of depth to the lips. A little more shadow. A little dimply smile mark. Dolly. But I don't want to do it on wet necessarily. As I just go in on wet because I'm impatient. Hmm. Purple around the eye. Not really, I'll do a dark blue, just because there isn't any purple really in the whole image. And it might just kind of spring it on you. But just the starting of like an eyelash line. All right, give this a quick dry, and then I'll probably go back in and just kind of work with these without getting them wet. Okay, I lied. I think I'm gonna be done with these and bring in colored pencil only because I can sharpen pencils and get a nicer point. So for around her eye, we're gonna do a nice dark indigo blue. Didn't really check to see if it was dry. <laughs> and then I'll bring in a purplish color, maybe a pinky purple color. For some deeper lines, like where her eyelid is, a little bit of shading. And then a skin tone, like a paler skin tone. And kind of blend in with that. Ooh. And white, just to brighten up some spots. I suppose I should give her an eyebrow. Nothing too dramatic there. And then I can, maybe I'll just use this for shading everywhere where it's like a heavier shade and mix it with the skin color. And you know what, I'm just gonna use the blue for all the line work. got a little funny. Let's bring in a dark red crimson lake. Add a little red to the nose. All right, now I'm gonna find a dark brown, maybe a dark brownish red. What do we got? Tucson red to keep her face and outline. Add a little pink for the tear duct, or pinkish color I suppose in the waterline. Did I decide what eye color I was going to give her? Maybe I'll bring some yellow up to the top part, just because there's yellow near the bottom of her hair. When I do profiles I like to make the eye kind of looking over at you. And I'll go back in with the reddish brown, why not? Not quite human. And then I'll pick a pale blue, just to do a little shading in her eye. And then just soften that with white as I wipe the red off of it. Ooh, she fancy. I'm gonna add a little bit of pale blue to her eyebrow. All right, now I'm gonna add some 
more of a vibrant blue. What is this? Let's try peacock blue, just to add some line work to her hair. The peacock blue is nice. It works in the blue area and the greenish area. I will use the indigo blue for this top part where her hair, her hair part is. Yeah, I can just use them. I can use them wherever I want. And then I like to add just a few strands of loose hair. I kind of want to take this blue and just kind of darken up in here just a little bit. I could just redo it with, or like add more of the uh, aqua pastels to it, but I don't feel like getting it wet again. And it wasn't that much. Now I want to take a bright, a brighter blue, something a little more vibrant. I'm not sure if this will stand out. Yeah, it's not quite strong enough. I don't love it down here. Looks Well, that looks better now that I've had a little extra one. Try the darker version of that. Ooh, that's just way too dark. Something in there, I'm gonna try and just gently go over this with white, just to soften it. I mean, it's not gonna make it go away, but it'll make it a little more subtle. All right, let's pop those out of the way. Let's bring in this dude. Sometimes it's just fun to have a broken line, like a broken white line rather than the solid, just to mix things up a bit. Well, you guys, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope you pull out your watercolors or aqua pastels or whatever you have and uh, get creating. Have a good one. And I will see you tomorrow with another mermaid. Bye guys.